Good morning, everyone. It's Terry, and this is an Orchid Diary, and I am showing off some of my rarely shown rare orchids. And first of all, I am checking on some of these developing spikes on my Encyclia brevifolia, and uh, they are progress <coughs> progressing and showing <coughs> buds now, which is great. Now also, well, down below here is one of the plants that is a bucket list plant. For me, that's Pleurothallus adeli, which is native, it is a terrestrial plant, native to Ecuador and Bolivia. And it is a large flower, largest, one of the larger flowered Pleurothallus, which are known for their very tiny flowers. And the flower is produced from a spath from the bottom of the leaf, the front part of the leaf. And you can see there is a flower bud. And I just, in that very moment, found that bud. Now I'm showing you the root system, which is very, very developed. You can see the media is a seedling mix because the roots are so fine. A big chunky bark would not work. Um, these plants can get bigger, but they do bloom smaller and the flowering can be sequential. I will post a picture of the flower. That is an excellent, excellent development that I found. Uh, just above that, before I leave and go find the other surprise, rare orchid is this rare orchid which is eranthes well that's the botanica the tag uh there's the well erisanthe but it is i know it as eranthes onrichii you see that new leaf developing i keep it down there in a somewhat shady but gets good sun and good air movement there um, just checking out those plants before heading around and I'm going to reach over and pull this mount off, which has, uh, not swell. I got this one from, I think it was Equigenera or it was Amazonica. I'm not sure. I think it might've been Amazonica and it was mounted on this piece of cork. I believe it was Amazonica, but it probably has a, well, maybe it wasn't. Uh, anyhow, it's Equigenera, and I mounted it on there. I've had this uh, all summer. It did come with sheaths on both plants, but for the longest time, the plant stalled, and recently it started developing the uh, roots. You see those green root tips down there at the base, and back there is a new growth if you didn't see it there is a close-up you see it wedged in between that dried up one and lo and behold look there's a spike there's a spike these plants do produce a spike from the top of the newly grow new growth from the from an act from a node and that is how that is uh, developing that's a spike and when you peek in to where the sheath is you see that peeking out there there is another spike pulling itself out of the sheath and there it is closer you see it popping out at the top there so that's exciting that's three inflorescence Javanica is from uh, South China, I want to say. Um, Vietnam, Thailand, Java. And it is a fragrant, erect spike that blooms in the summer, sometimes in fall, star-shaped. But thanks for watching.